As the resistance to bauxite mining in the cockpit country ramps up, and the public discourse and displeasure increases. Here are a few more noteworthy facts to bear in mind. Teach them! Always make sure the message I reach them! On the 21st of November 2017, during a presentation in Parliament on the proposed cockpit country boundary, Prime Minister Andrew Holness Refer to the boundary identified by Dr. Paris Loaye Jr. in 2005 as the boundary of choice for the government. This is now known as the Yui boundary. During that same presentation, Prime Minister Holness declared that approximately 74,726 hectares had been demarcated as the designated cockpit country protected area. To date, there are eight proposed overlapping boundaries in the cockpit country. They are the Yui boundary, the Sweeting boundary, the Ring Road boundary, the Maroon boundary, the Botanical boundary, the cockpit country stakeholders group boundary, the Forestry Reserve boundary, and the Engar Cockpit Country add-on. Of note, the Cockpit Country Protected Area is the smallest of all the boundaries that has been established. The Government of Jamaica has issued some six special mining leases. Noranda Bauxite said, the mining leases granted to it covers about 8,300 hectares. The Government of Jamaica is the 51% majority shareholder in Noranda Bauxite Company, while the 49% minor shareholders are private owners. The mining leases were designed by a single individual to include all bauxite laden property and exclude non bauxite lands. A 2017 special mining lease for sector 172. Grants Noranda Jamaica Bauxite Partners rights to mine into communities such as Gibraltar, Madras, and Endeavour. By leaving out the northeastern and south southwestern sections, which are important for hydrology and history, and where mining and prospecting leases have already been issued. It is hard not to conclude that sections of the Cockpit Country Protected Area Boundary have been drawn to satisfy already contracted mining interests. Even more alarming is Special Mining Lease 173, which would allow Noranda to mine an even larger portion of the cockpit country. This lease is currently under an environmental impact assessment process. Also of note is that the United Nations Development Program has funded a project titled Conserving Biodiversity and Reducing Land Degradation in the Cockpit Country to the tune of US $6 million. Now, the question is, why are we simultaneously destroying something that we claim we are trying to protect? Teach them! Hey yo, hello! Send the message and make it reach them. It's teach them right here, Warlord representing. Thank you for watching. Please leave a comment below. Remember to like and share the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content. Follow me on social media and check out the suggested videos on screen. This is Teach saying, until next time, walk good, my friends.